hi guys so welcome back to my channel um it's conservancy here and i always kind of wanted to do a q a video and this is what this is as you can see in the title um but you know i don't have the following to to do a full one i think i kind of do now so um about a month ago i asked you guys to to send me some questions on stuff you want me to answer in the q a and um yeah here we are this is going to be going up on my 21st birthday so um yeah it's been a journey i would start calling this like my year of youtube because this is where this is around the time where i actually started so we're gonna just make it my birthday so that's easier to remember so without further ado we're gonna hop into the questions now remember um like comment subscribe share turn on the bell notifications to know if i post you can follow me on my socials they are giving me linked all the way down in the comment the description down below and um, whenever next i'm doing one of these you guys can take part so let's go so pro gamer acts what do you like to do in your free times besides playing gta 5 rp with friends well i like to watch anime and um and a couple tv shows um my favorite tv show right now well two of them is swat and the rookie the rookie's an excellent show um i kind of watch it kind of bootleg but you know well not really bootleg because the quality is still good but i mean like off a third party site or whatever because it's not really um here for barbados so yeah we don't have hulu or any of those play on, on any of those services so yeah so i watch a lot of anime with my friends um especially my best friend daniel um we watch and talk about anime a lot i kind of like like to joke around with them and stuff like we actually have some really good conversations etc so yeah that's what i like to do how does it feel climbing the ranks in cadets okay so it it was for me it was incredibly fast i do think that i was really good at what i was at, at cadets in general i was pretty good um i knew a lot of the information especially with uh drill etc and that really that really started bringing discipline in me and i guess the people saw that the people at top saw that and then um rising through the ranks and even in some cases passing some people um that were in it before me it was a good and a crappy feeling at the same time because yeah they were there before me but i knew that i had the skill and the knowledge and stuff that was needed for each rank that i got so that's where thing that was um canada also asked um did your cadet branch feel on top better than ear or c cadets well we technically we did have more um cadets in general but i i, I guess yeah i guess we did feel like we were on the top or whatever but it didn't really matter sometimes because there were some c cadets that were more that were that were more senior than we were um as infantry basically so yeah gta asks will you buy a new thing for your pc or new chair i have no plans on changing my chair right now i'm still gonna keep using this old thing that i got five years ago um it's not really comfortable but you know i ain't got that money bro so yeah i, I, I ain't changing it as for my pc right now i'm currently saving to start doing upgrades and stuff and when i finish upgrade this cycle i probably won't upgrade for another two years um for my pc so yeah uh bvd tv shout out to bvd tv um who is conservancy conservancy is me i am conservancy you understand but yeah but um i guess we'll get to that in the next question which was from that gaming dude omar where did the name conservancy come from well true story um i was dreaming one night and i woke up and the conservancy name just sprung into my head i searched it and everything didn't find anything because the name the name that was there was based on plants and i'm not really a plant guy you know what i mean i like meat all the way <laughs> anyways but i i I, I just woke up that morning and it just popped in my head and I was like, okay, well, I'm going to use that. And the name sounds really cool. And then I started using it with combat arms when I was playing games with my friends and stuff. And that's how it was. So, yeah. Uh, next user. I It just says deleted user, so I don't know. Um, 
how did you meet that dude omar um i don't remember our first interaction but i met him in ngrp i was in ngrp a month or two before omar joined and when omar joined then we started to talk more we became friends and then we're at the relationship we have the gaming relationship friendly relationship we have right now so yeah that's that's how i met omar um josh asked uh shout out to josh as well officer can up you can have i'll have his link down in the description down below as well um what is your goal for the end of 2021 for viewers well for me for the end of 2021 i want to have um i want to it, it doesn't matter really i want to have views on my channel no less like each video must be no less than half of my subs that's that's kind of my goal it's kind of probably like a weird goal but whatever my subs is or are whatever i want to have viewers or views on my videos each one of my videos that are half to three quarters minimum of of the subs on my channel so if i have let's say a thousand subs i want to have 500 views on my on each video that i post and uh, 500 to 750 views on each video that i post and that's that's kind of my kind of game plan going through it so and though that's the bare minimum like uh of course i would want to have double the amount of um views on my videos or triple the amount of views on my videos than i do subs but that's the bare minimum i want to be sustainable enough that at least half of my subscribers are watching um what is your goal for youtube my goal for youtube is to become big um i want i want that like later on in life this turns into my full-time job or does it or it helps pay for my full-time job meaning my full-time job meaning um um a business owner entrepreneurship entrepreneur sorry um i want to be an entrepreneur i want to solve some problems and stuff because there are a lot of things that i realize that are wrong in the world and i want to be able to help fix it i want to come up with solutions etc so that's my goal for youtube to this be my starting platform to get myself out there and then i can once i made enough money i can start um investing in businesses helping other people out starting my own businesses and you know solving societal issues maybe um especially here in my country barbados um how did you get into content creation i'm gonna put this one and um the one by robert together and he said um what made you start youtube well okay i got into content creation because i was i was in a very dark place in my life and i didn't really have much to help me out through it and i decided okay i'm gonna take control of my life i watched a video from brandon rashad another youtuber youtuber i'll probably put it somewhere around um and his video really inspired me to take control of my life and take control of everything going around going on around me so then i started um doing that and then i said okay i have a talent for playing games a little bit i, I was really good at call of duty and stuff and um i said okay i used to watch all these streamers and everything and i started doing it and then i said okay i'm gonna go and build myself a pc i built myself a pc i said i'm gonna start learning how to edit i started learning how to edit i started to get better at games and i started to, to, to shine basically and i was also talking to some friends and and saying um you know the things that i went through i could probably share with other people to help them get through their stuff so then and my friends helped inspired me to do it so then i started and i kept doing going content creating content creating putting out videos after videos after videos and and still talking about being open about my stuff you know so that's how i started and this is where i'm at now um when you leave cadets what made you become a gamer instead of becoming a soldier purely because i enjoyed being a gamer more um, there are a lot of things in Barbados, in Barbados military that I do not typically like. It doesn't mesh with my personality. My personality is one of a leader. Um, I'm very strong-willed and um, the idea of taking orders for somebody from years and years and years and years to come just doesn't sit right for me really. So yeah, that is my one of my main reasons for um, being a gamer because 
yeah i i i can take orders from people it's just that sometimes when i have a opposing idea it's a little bit harder to to eh, ignore it you know so and as i said i'm very strong will so deep down inside i would feel a little bit different about not you know following my instincts basically um how do you leave something in the past and move on oh boy that's the that's a that's a that's a tough one um it is something different for everybody else for me personally to leave things behind i just keep it out of my life so if it's a girlfriend for example my ex um i barely talk to my exes um it's probably only one that i would speak to but other than that i don't talk to any of my exes um and that's kind of how i left them behind and left those things behind because i just completely removed them from my life and i look forward to going further so there's no definitive answer on that but that is how i do it so just keep that in mind um next question i know who this question is from why do you like to nag me for those four lovely hours of your work day well you see the thing is right most people know of my very serious side and not many people know my very jokey goofy etc side so just the fact that you already know that and me nagging you it, it's it's just because i like you and that's that's and when i say like i mean and i don't mean in a sexual or, or a relationship type of way but as a friend like i kind of want you to be around me i want you to be around my life and that is my way of opening up that other side of me that side of me that normal people do not see never never is there a time where people see my goofy side where people see my my um my funny side and stuff like that like only a certain amount of people have seen it so yeah that is that is my main reasoning yeah i like you so um how does barbados feel compared this is from canada sorry how does barbados feel compared to other caribbean islands um other caribbean islands um i've only been to a couple so i want to know about all of them but barbados has in my opinion has um either an extremely friendly mindset or an extremely rude mindset there's a lot of barbados who are rude and there's a lot of barbados who are very very friendly and um more chances than not you get greeted friendly but there are some people that you know take you off <laughs> like i am i i get so annoyed at some people like i went to a bakery the other day and the lady spoke to me so disrespectfully like if, if, if that's even a word but yeah she spoke to me like in such a disrespectful manner i wanted to cuss her right there but you know i can't do that so yeah um let's see um somebody asked the question how do you make time to edit and post videos consistently oh boy okay so i plan out my day for the most part um i it's not really based on feelings and because i was in cadets i um i kind of built this 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 way of doing stuff even though i don't really feel like it like sometimes i would get up and not feel like editing but i just go because i know that i have to do it i have to i have a responsibility to to take to you guys to pull that content so i just do it um i i'm just gonna let you know my schedule now some um i work four hours a day i'm part-time so i work four hours a day but i'm full-time school so i do make to time the time to do my classes etc um most of my stuff is done on the weekend so i get up do whatever chores i have to do around the house um then i start editing i try to push out at least three videos on saturday and then two videos on sunday um just to and that will go from wednesday to friday those videos will go from wednesday to friday um and then for the rest of the day i usually do some nga stuff so maybe recruiting etc etc um i find a little bit of time to go over to my friend's server my five friends 5bd server and we play sometimes but it's not often a lot of people complain about it but uh yeah um i barely get i had to cut out a lot of my texting time because i don't text as much as normal like i need to get this stuff done and I need to get this stuff out so yeah that I, I don't text as much and people are complaining about that but you know y'all weren't talking to me when i had time so now that i don't have time don't complain anyways <laughs> um but yeah um 
it, 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 I find the time. It's, it's, I find the time to do it. And it's because I really want this dream to work out. And I really, really, really want to be a YouTuber. I want to be a positive influence to other people, especially people who go through mental stuff. Um, I want to be that person to, to help them through it. Not because of the clout or whatever. It's because of the feeling of knowing that you help somebody through a hard time. That is what really, really, you know, makes me keep going all the time um who influenced you the most when you were young um probably my grandmothers um both of them my grandmothers like when i was a young young baby when i was like uh i would say between the age of when i was born and four years old it would have been my grandmother's from my from my grandmother from my father's side she influenced me a lot she she raised me etc and then my grandmother's from my mother's side i lived with her from then on so yeah she she was she's probably the one who influenced me the most um how does ngrp how has ngrp changed you in social interactions and views on your on and your views on the community um ngrp has been a real family environment for me because um i i was kind of new to 5m and not gonna lie i was kind of new probably in it a couple months and i was able to come into community not knowing too much and learn a lot of stuff i did come with some knowledge because i did play other servers before um but i came in and they taught me a lot of stuff i fell in love with the organization of it and yeah like that's my views on community is growing now so um things are gonna get a little tough um but you know having to work with harry brown's personality so far it's easy um it's been good everybody is nice and kind so yeah um how does it feel doing a q a video it's taking a long time yeah it's taking a long, long time i didn't expect that i would i would have these many questions and i didn't expect that it's going to take this long but yeah, it's taking a long time um and but it feels good to, to open up and say certain things to y'all obviously i'm not gonna say everything that goes on in my life but yeah um how does it how does the bed vine 9 plus 10 equals 21 make you cringe when you're turning to an on i don't really care about it i think it was a quite dumb vine or dumb meme so whatever um i see panda ass if you could go anywhere in the world where would you go um i think i would want to go to japan the most and that's kind of ironic because you are from japan but i kind of want to go to japan the most like i'm so intrigued by their culture and by by a lot of stuff that happened there and i kind of wanted to go but i know learning the language and learning other things might be a little bit of a challenge especially since english is my native language um i think that um japanese culture in in general just intrigues the most me the most compared to everybody else i remember when i was young I used to sit down and <laughs> i used to put like like these um these uh plates like um like steel pans or whatever all over my body pretend i was like a samurai stuff like that that's yeah that was that was what was there what are all the things you want to do achieve in life a bucket list okay well i can't say too much because some of it is kind of top secret but um i want to be one successful in everything i do so youtube later on in my businesses i want to start businesses etc i want to help people i want to be somebody that um is very that you can depend on and well mainly my friends you you can depend on i'm already somebody that you can depend on usually because most of my friends just come message me ask for advice etc so that's what i want to do that's what i want to be um uh i started growing this channel so i mean it's very very small still but it's what i want to do it's the thing that i kind of dreamed of doing so this is one um i want to start businesses i have like seven business plans thought of i've already made i've only made one business plan already but i have seven business ideas in general that i want to start but and one is like i can't do that until like 30 40 years from now so that one is like on the back back burner but um i kind of i also want to have a family like 
like like i i don't really know about marriage in general but i want to be i want to have a partner a long-standing partner and have children and i don't want too many children either but those are just things that i went through my young mind uh, i haven't really thought about it extensively about children or a wife or whatever but i do know that marriage is a little scary to me and um yeah i have seen so many horrific things about marriage and i've also seen very good things about marriage and i don't know it, it kind of scares me a little bit i i, I fear it a little bit but it, it is what it is whatever happens happens um have you ever thought of partnering for a gaming company um it depends on the company and um uh, i will cross that bridge when i get there um i'll put my time and thought into it overlook a contract or whatever they're offering um i'll have a lawyer present etc um but i will cross that bridge when i get there um why don't you think of joining joining redline rp or pro gamer network pro gamer network is blacklisted for ngrp so that's a hell no and um why and redline rp i don't really like some stuff that goes on in redline rp is not really for me i like the realistic aspect and as i told you guys multiple times on stream and say everything i'm loyal to ngrp um they have provided a family for me and this is it if by some grace of disaster and grp shuts down then i don't think that i'm gonna continue playing 5m outside of with my friends my actual real life friends probably not gonna play um 5m so yeah um how are you so open about situations you have dealt with because some people i'm open about it because some people need to know that somebody else goes through or went through stuff that they have and that's what helps them get through it um i find that that kind of worked on me for a little bit so that's why i am so open about it and so so willing to talk about certain things i don't go into detail about a lot of things that i felt or a lot of things that i went through but i also know how important it is to let a person know and let and how, how feelings can can control you completely so that's why i do my best even if it must be for me to be open about what i've went through um to you know just help somebody else and plus what can you do really about stuff that i went through what can you do you can't blackmail me in any way you can tell me tell me off like i've already gone through it it's the past so yeah i really don't care if i tell somebody something and they try to put that you know they try to like put that back in my face like okay you're just showing me that you're an idiot you're clearly stupid and yeah not worth my time so you know that's the mean part of it um favorite video on your channel and why is it your favorite i kind of don't really have a favorite video at least right now um I don't know what would be my favorite video probably mm, yeah i don't know what's my favorite video at least not right now um i i've just made a ton of videos um if so i'm not sure which one would be my favorite honestly I've, yeah probably the bmw and five stream maybe no i don't know i don't think so either um probably starting the crazy jason one I, I had a lot of fun with that so let's go with that for now and then we'll um some of my other ones would have probably been the um the ones i did with barbados 5pd probably those as well but other than that i don't remember i don't think i have any other really favorite videos on on youtube so yeah um how did you go about plotting the next five to ten years in your life in terms of social category, education, career, relationships, finance, etc.? So I kind of set a roadmap similar to how companies have. Um, I'm not going to show you guys, but I started with um, 
you know what am I what am I am at now what goals I want to go what what I want to do and how I'm going to get there and then I started putting things in place which will most likely happen there so for example YouTube starting here I want that by the end of the year I have near 3,000 maybe for more subs and I keep pushing each year it builds on and builds on and builds on um I kind of have I I do put in low contingency so for so for example with you you know um University of the West Indies I have a year setback because um, I didn't do too well in my first year and I have to wait a little bit until I um, can like, you know, get like out there, like get my degree. I have to wait another year, do over some courses so I can get my my degree. So with that being said, then my years, my stuff have pushed back a uh, one year and that's why I started to work. Um, so I started to work part time and to fill in that year so i don't be doing and nothing during that time and then when i'm done with this i'm probably gonna go and try the, another career probably start teaching as a as a side thing i well use youtube right now as like a as like a thing i do after work and then use um teaching to be my primary source of income until i start getting youtube up i start making considerable amounts for youtube and then that's when i'm gonna switch to youtube and then after youtube I've, after i've gone through and i've how to create a sustainable brand a sustainable business that's when i'm gonna start expanding out get this business and that business and that business and that business and for my finances um i watched a video from teaching men fashion um you guys can check it out um about budgeting and stuff like that and i budget my money you know in a specific way so that i have the majority of it saved to invest later and then i invest some in what i have now to get back later and then and then a little bit for you know whatever i want so yeah that's that's kind of a little brief thing of how i really you know plan it if you guys want me to go more in depth and how i think about that then drop a comment down below and the last question is, what is your say on the rise of stocks for GameStop? I haven't been watching that. I don't know about it. Neither do I care. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, thank you guys for sending the questions. I hope you guys kind of enjoyed this. It was kind of, I, I think I've been, a I was a little monotone, but I hope it wasn't that bad. So, yeah. Thank you guys for all the support recently and everything you guys have shown me. I really do appreciate it. And, um yeah i hope you enjoyed the video keep watching the channel like comment subscribe turn on bell notifications so you know whenever i post and uh yeah i'll see you guys in game bro peace